happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you all are doing well. We have a couple of special guests with us today. Um, Becca's fine, nothing is wrong. She is camping with her sweet family for Memorial Day. So they're coming home today and she texted me and she said, hey Rach, do you wanna move the live, push it a little bit to the uh, afternoon and I'll be there? And I said, no, I said, you enjoy your day with your fam and your kiddos. James will host and we'll bring Charlie. So sweet Charlie is here. Also, today is his two month, I don't know. Today he's two months it's, old. Yeah, it's I don't know what you call that. But he is two months old today. Um, wait a minute, it just said 2.30. Really, Kat? Oh, on Ooh. this screen it says 10.30. 10.30, 10.30, which again, depending on where you are in the world, it will say yeah, something different. different. Time zones. Um, but yes, yeah, so Charlie is two months old today, so, and he's rocking his oak and lamb shirt, which fits him so much better than when he was, um, I don't know, what was he? Uh, he wasn't less even than a month two old. Weeks yeah, old. He was, he was yeah, he young. was really, really tiny. Um, and now he's big boy. He's such a big boy. He is super alert. He's figuring out that his hands work, which is fun. He is picking his head up. He is, I just feel like he's like too big. I feel like he's just growing too fast, uh, which is just making me heartbroken but at the same time I'm excited for the next chapter for him to you know get bigger and grow and to develop so I'm excited today we're going to make some really fun beer glasses my husband James is here producing hi James hello and he swears that these are not beer glasses while they do not look, like, look like beer, beer steins you know like the big beer stein uh mugs these technically are considered beer glasses they're everywhere they're super popular right now um, so we're going to be putting some vinyl on this. Now I have to be honest with you. Um, I planned on doing some multicolor, multi-layer. I'm a little bit nervous with Charlie here. I don't want him to like have a tantrum or anything like that. I'm just nervous. So we're just going to do black single layers for today. We can do a whole different live stream on applying multi-layered vinyl to uh, rounded surfaces like this. Cause truly it's like training all its own. It's all its own ball game there. Um, lots of layers and measuring and things like that. So today we're just gonna be doing two simple one layer uh, vinyl pieces on both of these. We're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to place vinyl on rounded surfaces if you are brand spanking new here. My name is Rachel, this is my sweet son Charlie and my husband is behind the camera. I am an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb and I'm so excited to have you here with us today. I hope that you all are ready to craft. I'm so excited. Let's see here, how are you all doing? I know you're so excited to see Charlie. Um, trust me, I'm excited for him to be here too. He's so big, he's such a big boy. Oh my gosh, guys, he's the sweetest thing in the world, honestly. He is the sweetest thing in the world in his little oak and lamb shirt that again, he fills out so much better. Um, next time he might not even be able to wear it, which is crazy. Yeah, he's, crazy. he's growing and gaining the pounds very quick. I know, he's growing. He goes to the pediatrician, um, on Friday, we get to see what he weighs. He went from being, you know, the two week early below average weight. Mm -hmm. Now I guarantee he's going to be average, if not above. I'm going to say he's 13 pounds. I'm, I'm going to say he's like probably 13 for pounds. His, for his um, age. Anywho, anywho, uh, we're going on the flock camp trip next week. Charlie's coming. Yes. James is not. James nope. is staying home with my dog, Lenny. Uh, he's got to be a dog dad. And my mom is coming with me. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm going to bring his oak and lamb shirt, of course, because he's got to wear it at the flock camp trip. It's a must. So we are going to get started here in a minute. I'm going to try and put Charlie down. Keyword try. His daddy might have to take over for me. Probably. And uh, feed him a bottle. I fed him a bottle right before the live to see if that would um, keep him calm for a little while. You can see him. Say hi, Charlie. Oh, look at oh, that mean face. Mad. Oh, he's, he's mad. mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, is he sleeping more during the night for you? He is. That's a great question. Yeah, he's he's doing sleeping better. about sometimes like four and five hour stretches, and sometimes it's like an hour and a half and he wants a bottle. But again, we're here. We're in Charlie's world. We're all just living in it. So whatever Charlie wants, Charlie gets. Yeah, it's a um, gamble. So I'm gonna try and lay him down. We'll see how this goes. You guys can hear me because I'll be 
mocked up anyways, and then his dad can take him if this doesn't go very well. That's, nope, here you go, Daddy. Yeah, I'm going to get him. Here you go, Daddy. There you go. Here's Passy. Here's Passy. Go ahead and give me that bottle. Okay, I'll give you the bottle. Oh, you know how it goes, guys. Okay, here's the bottle, just in case. Okie dokie. Oh, hello, everyone. I have my coffee from Duncan. We grabbed that. Lord, he got me sweating. It is 67 in here when we walked in. James said he was... It, um, it's like a meat locker in here. It's so cold. <laughs> he said it's like a meat locker. I disagree. I do not think it is like a meat locker. I think it feels... I'm hot. I'm sweating right now, which babies are little heaters, you all know. Uh, anyways, we have our little beer mugs here, beer glasses. They do come with glass straws and a bamboo lid. So cute. Um... I didn't have time to, to test it out today, but I was wondering if I was possibly able to sublimate on this bamboo lid. So that might be something we try in the other video where we do multi-layer, uh, multi multi-color, uh, which will be fun. But as supplies go, it's kind of simple. We have these mugs, glass mugs, glasses, mugs. I'm probably just gonna call them glasses. Uh, they are linked in the description below as is all this good stuff. We have HTV that we got from 143 Vinyl. We have transfer tape. Um, my heart wants to reuse this, but I might have to make some relief cuts. Maybe not. So maybe we can reuse this because if you guys didn't know the clear transfer tape that's like standard grip, you can actually reuse, um, you can reuse this over and over again. And Kat says, um, people drink beer with a straw. So let me tell you, Kat, uh, there is a phrase that I, there's a phrase called SEO, search engine optimization. And basically it's what pops up when someone searches for something on Google. You know, it's like keywords and things like that. When you put beer glass in Google, this is what pops up. Beer Stein is, you know, if you know, like the big mugs. Um, I personally, I'm kind of with James. I don't think that these are like beer mugs but as far as SEO goes whenever people search for it, like what's hot what's trendy it's these things being called beer mugs so beer glasses beer mugs so that's what we're going to be using today is these I'm not saying please drink your uh, beer out of a straw because that is strange for sure um okie dokie you guys are so sweet I miss the snuggles too Stacy he's already getting to almost too big for me personally James's arms are longer but for me to hold good with one hand like when I'm doing something I feel like I've got his arm or his leg really stretched up to his stomach when I'm trying to hold him he's getting so big it's crazy to me honestly it's crazy I just hope that he stays as calm as he is right now <laughs> um okay we have our Beer glasses, vinyl, we have our Cricut. We're using a Cricut Maker 3 today. However, you can use whatever Cricut you have. Or if you have a Silhouette, if you have a Brother Scanning Cut, you can use any of those machines. We have a standard grip mat today. And we have some rubbing alcohol. You guys know I love using my rubbing alcohol for these vinyl projects. Love it. Okay, so I want to just go ahead and mention as well uh, we're also running our sale. It's almost over, but it is a sale for $10 off your first month with us here at Oak and Lamb on our monthly membership. 10 bucks off, use the code FUNFUN at checkout, and then it's like $10 itself, which is a heck of a deal. I mean, you get all access to all of our cut files. We have a lot of amazing member-only videos, not to mention our Facebook group, which is like the best thing about our membership. Our community is the best i can i could go on and on for days about our community and if you would like to join please join today if you have any questions about it if you're on the fence about it we're here to be super honest and answer questions so let me know if there's any questions for me to answer uh kelsey do you baby wear rachel it's a lifesaver kelsey i have a wrap and i have like a the snap clip sling thing and i like both and he likes both he does not mind them at all um, I like the clip thing better. I, f I feel like he's more secure, but I like the look of the, like the, the wrap better, but I'm like, what, what do I care about style? You know, I'm just wanting to, uh, 
make sure he's safe and that everything's doing good. Maybe I'm not doing the wrap correctly. That's definitely a possibility. Uh, but yes, I do baby wear. I do like it. I want to do it more now that he's a little bit older because I felt like the bobble head was just, you know, a little bit rough. I felt like I couldn't get him super secure. Um, but yes, okay, that's it for supplies. Super easy today. James is trying to soothe the baby right now and he can't change the camera or he would here in just a second. James, can you go to the cricket or did you go overhead? overhead. Yeah, go to my computer real quick. Thank you. Are we there? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So our cups, make sure you measure your glasses because all the glasses come a little bit different. And we need to talk about wrap around. So whenever you have a sticker and wrap around, you want to make sure that you can read writing, can read your design, um, and that it's readable. You want to make sure it looks really good. So you want to, when you size this, not size it to where your text and everything starts to curve around the glass too much because then it starts to look distorted. You can't really read it. Um, and we don't want that. Our max, and I'll show you this on the other camera as well, but the max uh, width on our beer glasses is three inches before it starts to really look distorted. So we're gonna keep about three and a half inches, or three inches and, let, and a little bit under. So here we have two and a half, and here we have two and a half. Both of these are gonna fit really well. Of course, I had to do one oak and lamb, and then I'm gonna do one a little boxier. Uh, this is a, a really, really cute cut file. Again, we have literally hundreds of cut files. I'm gonna go over here and just kind of uh, show off for a quick second because I thought, why not? We're also running a sale, so if there might be somebody on the fence, it might be good to kind of share um, some things that you guys might wanna see. So we're gonna go here to oakandlamb.com. I'm gonna click on cut files and we can look at some of the cut files that we have. How stinking cute are these? So we have some quilting patterns. We have some dance mom stuff. Look at this little dinosaur and this llama. I think it is too stinking cute. We have some really cool um, cane style letters here, which are super hot right now if you guys are into that. Uh, we have some graduation things, some f uh, Father's Day things happening. I mean, we've got teacher appreciation. Uh, look, this one's one of my favorites. It Ain't Easy Being Wheezy. I absolutely love that one, of course. Um, power to the asthmatics out there for sure. We have some Spanish cut files, which are super fun. I do crafts, craft beers. How fun is that? Um, graduation. I mean, look, we've just got all kinds of stuff. Be kind. That's one of our uh, really, really popular ones. Can't more worry less. I mean, I could go on and on and on. We've got a lot of cut files here at Oak and Land, but definitely join today. Use the code FUN, F-U-N, at checkout. So we've already sized these. Super easy. Um... They're just black. I'm leaving them black. You can do them whatever color you want. You can layer them. It's super easy to do that. Again, I think it needs its own video anyways. I mean, I could have added it today if I had time or wasn't a little bit nervous about uh, Charlie. I would, but um, we haven't done any training on like how to add vinyl around a curved surface anyway. So we're going to go with it. We've got our Maker 3 selected. We're going to go ahead and click Make It. We've got them both on here. I'm going to scooch this over and down a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes if I don't put things on the mat just so-so, I, I want to scooch it down a little bit. I'm going to click continue. It's going to connect to our Cricut Maker. We're going to select premium vinyl removable mat. Leave that pressure on default, and we're good to go. James, I know you're, you've got a lot going on. If you could go overhead for me. Thank you, sir. Okie dokie. We have our beer glasses. We have that, and these are, by the way, guys, I don't know if you know this about me. You probably don't. I'm going to switch it over to this so I can see your comments as well. Um, hi, everyone. Holy sweat fest wearing a baby cat. Wait till the camp trip because I'm bringing the clip one on the camp trip, and I'm probably going to wear him uh, quite a lot. Him and, or me and my mom are probably going to wear him a lot. And let me tell you. It's probably going to be really, really hot. I mean, it's going to be hot anyways because of the weather here, but still, it's going to be twice as hot with the little baby strapped to me. Okay, so we have our mat here, and it's so funny. You can tell I made a mat cleaning video. So the top half of the mat is like pristine, and the bottom half of the mat is <laughs> really dirty. It's so funny. But to be honest, I think I'm going to try and use the top half or the dirty half of the mat because 
This half is a little bit too sticky for me. Go figure, I know. Um, so we don't need that much vinyl today. I'm going to start in the, start the top and apply this down. And I'm actually going to reference design space really quick and see how much I actually need. If I can cut off a good amount. Okay, so we're going to, we need about half the mat. So I'm going to get the true control knife and cut off about half the mat here like that Woo, yeah that bottom's really sticky which is good where'd my tape go oh there it is got it found it thank you norma okay do what now norma said some kind words to me oh did she let's see what norma said let's she said thank you for being here james you're a good daddy and husband oh he's the best he is the best james is my best friend in the world and i highly highly recommend watching your best friend become a father especially if that best friend happens to be your husband it's like a win-win situation um, james is the best husband and father in the world okay we've got this on there we braid it down this is regular vinyl so there's no need to like mirror our image or anything like that so we're ready to cut james if you want to go to the front facing camera uh we're right, gonna as i do that kelsey says i need to buy some of these beer glasses where is best kelsey great question um, I have, I'm gonna, we're, we're honest. We're very honest here. I don't know if you've been here before, Kelsey. If you, I don't know. Maybe you change your profile picture. Sometimes that knocks me off if someone changes their profile picture. I know you all a lot from your pictures. Um, anyways, if you are new here, we're extremely honest about things. We don't have ties to any company or any organization. So we're allowed to give our open and honest opinion about literally everything, which is great. Um, so let's talk about these. If you can see... I was literally complaining about this. These were not cheap. I'm actually going to look at the price right now. The link is below to these that we purchased. I'm going to let that cut. Um, but I don't know if I would buy these if I were you. If you can see this, can they see this, James? It doesn't yeah. sit still. Like this one kind of sits still. But this one almost looks like it has like a yeah, bubble bottom. I mean, you can see the bottom is, it's flat, but it's not. If it was flush all the way down, it would be very sturdy, but so, it's not. It's not, no. It's not like super flat. It, these were $30. Now, again, Amazon price is subject to change, yada, yada. Um, right now, these were $30 for four. I, I'm not saying that's a, that's a horrible price. I'm not, because it comes with the glass, the top, the glass straw. It comes with straw cleaners and all of that. Um, that's like $7 and something a glass. Yeah. But I don't know because it's like the bottom is rounded. And if I was like actually wanting to use this and take it around and set it down, I just, it makes me a little bit nervous to be honest with you. Um, that's not saying that it's like horrible, but I, it just makes me a little bit nervous. Um, also, fun fact about me, I hate glass. I have no glass dishes or anything in, uh, in my house. Nothing. Everything is plastic. Kelsey, I've been following you ever since Makers and Learn. Thanks for the info, Rach. Kelsey, you're so welcome. I'm sorry that I didn't recognize you. You might have changed your picture, but I will remember you, Kelsey Bardo. Um, Kat, I will probably get a lot of stuff done around the house and just relax, honestly. Yeah. While they're James, gone. Um, James is an avid gamer. Um, and to be honest, a lot of people, I'll just say this, I'll be honest, a lot of people um, kind of hate on gamers i think you know especially like husbands as gamers people tend to like mostly like complain and things like that here's my thing james is not out of the club james is not doing things he shouldn't be doing all he wants to do in his free time is run to his uh his computer, computer and play his games that is his that is his release it's like crafting to us when we run into our craft room and we make a craft that we've been thinking about all week same thing james has been waiting for this new expansion to come out in a game or something like that. And he's excited to go in there and kind of forget the stress of the world and just kind of play. I'm thankful that he's a gamer. I didn't think I would be, but I am. I think it's a really good outlet um, for stress. And I'm, I like that what he's passionate about is like in the house. He's here. If he was passionate about golf, he'd be gone all the time. Or, you know, yeah, that's I mean, a very expensive hat. things I used like to be that. Really big into golf too. Things like that. But I'm glad that his habit 
is something that he could pour his heart into there at home. I just like that. I'm a, such a homebody anyways, though, so I really enjoy that. But I don't like glass anyways. I don't have anything glass in the house that makes me nervous. I think I'm going to break it. So for this bottom to be kind of bubbled up anyways, it makes me like extra nervous. So James, whenever you're ready, let's switch over to the overhead camera. Already there. I'm going to grab my weeding tool, my true control knife, and my brayer. Because here's what happened, guys, if you're brand new here. The fine point blade has agitated all of this vinyl. What that means is it's going to have an easier time peeling up as we weed. So we want to take this and use our brayer and bray this down and make it really, really secure down to the... Um, backing sheet because that's going to make it a lot easier to weed off our negative vinyl so i'm going to bray that down really well let's see here okay i'm going to take my true control knife cut off my excess i don't know if you guys can see the uh where the cut lines are but i sure can so i'm going to remove this and now we have some vinyl to play around with later I'm going to weed the rest of this off. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Crystal. How are you? My significant other is a gamer. Um, gaming is all good if it's done in moderation. Yeah, I agree. I used to be a gamer until I discovered crafting. Romo, listen, everyone needs a release. Everyone needs a release. He deserves his downtime. Oh, absolutely, Kat. Yes, everybody needs downtime. Uh, gaming is no different than watching sports. I, I disagree in that uh, gaming helps teach hand-eye coordination amazing, whereas watching sports, I guess, doesn't. But as far as, like, downtime stress yeah, it's release. The same. It's but the same. let me tell you, James's hand-eye coordination is absolutely insane. I have zero. I've never gamed. If he gives me a controller, it, it's just embarrassing. I don't even know what to do with it. But James's hand-eye coordination is nuts from, from gaming. I completely think it is from, from gaming. Now, I want to say, do you see that little eyeball right there? Even that stayed down because we braid. Braying, burnishing after you cut, before you weed, is a really important thing when working with adhesive vinyl, truly. Okay, that was super easy to weed. Now, I'm going to... Put my weeding tool back now we need a scraper tool and we might need that true control knife back oh man this was a scrap piece and i want you guys to look how perfect this is it's almost like you planned that i know i didn't i didn't i'd tell you that i would okay like charlie's looking for you look at him huh like oh charlie's man i wish him. we could pan over to charlie he's having the time of his life right now now here's what i hate about I don't hate it. I like it. The, this has grid lines. It makes me want to put this as straight as humanly possible, but it's really hard to do that. Oh, okay. That's good. I think I actually put that really straight. I lined it up with the coffee thing. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to burnish this down. I have a scraper tool from 143 Vinyl. All of this is linked down below as well if you guys want it. Okay. Now I'm going to remove this from the mat. You guys know we like to remove things from the mat by flipping the entire mat over and peeling up like that. Okay, I'm going to push this back here. <laughs> Let me see. What are they saying? What Diane said. Diane? Yeah. Dad said, my son's tried to teach me how to game, and I ended blowing myself up. Diane. <laughs> James, here's the thing too, okay? Whenever you're young and you're in love, you want to try to impress your significant other. So James had an old PS2 in like a really old, was it Modern Warfare or something like that? No, and it was a PlayStation 3 and I had like Black Ops 2. And I asked for it. He was like, I'm not going to use this. And I said, can I take it home? Because I was determined to learn how to use that thing and to show him that I could game too. And it was the most embarrassing thing because I never could. But boy, howdy, I tried because you do that when you're young and you're in love. And then you realize that your differences, um, that your differences are fine and that it's totally fine to not do the exact same thing all the time. James and I have plenty in common. Um, I just cannot game. My hand-eye coordination is crap. But hey, I love to craft, so there you go. That definitely is a good thing. 
Okay, so we have this all ready to go. We burnished from the back. We trimmed up the sides a little bit. You didn't have to do any of that, um, except burnish from the back. That is important. But I do like to trim the sides, and now I'll cut these in half as well. Separate them. I said cut in half, but you guys know I meant separate because, you know, we're not going to cut our design in half. That would be silly. Okay, now we're going to clean our glasses. We're also going to get two little bitty. Uh-oh. I forgot that Becca rearranged. Oh, I found some. We're good. I'm going to find two little bottles of paint here that's going to help us out, I hope. Um, and we're going to clean these. So I'm going to take my alcohol. This is a pump bottle. And I'm gonna take a paper towel and clean these off. You want to make sure that you're placing your vinyl on um, a good, smooth, slick surface that doesn't have any dust or oil or debris or anything on it. So to ensure that, you need to make sure you clean it and then try not to touch it. I know it's kind of hard to do that, but at least when you clean it, you've wiped off all of the dust or oil and debris that has already been there. So I'm going to... James, are you trying to get the fuzz out between his fingers? <laughs> James is over here with Charlie and I'm like, what's going on? So funny. Okay, and those will air dry a bit. Now I'm gonna take this and fold it and hopefully this works. I'm gonna place one of these down and Two bottles of paint right here. That's just to kind of stabilize it a little bit, but I don't like that side. Don't ask me why. I know it's a glass and they should be the same. So I think this is pretty, I mean, it probably is going to stay for me, but it's good to have something to tuck on the sides of it just to make it a little bit more stable as you're adding your vinyl. It's not a must though. Um, so if you don't have to have them, you don't have to have them totally fine. We're going to keep them to the side right here just in case we need them. I'm going to move those scary straws. Let me see if I have missed anything else. Hello, everyone. Look at everybody. Hi. Okay, let me see. Um, Audrey used to game all the time. We would host servers for games. Oh, man. See my hand eye. I can't do cool. it. I can't do it. No, no, no. James has watched me crash and burn. So I'm going to scoot that up. And now I'm going to remove the backing from this, and it feels like it cut through a little bit, so that tells me that our, um, our fine point blade was like extra, extra sharp. So I might have to do some extra weeding. Never mind. That came out perfect. So this is the hardest part about every bit of this. Now let me, let me just go through everything, okay? I'm going to get everything out of my way. I'm not going to get claustrophobic. I'm just going to take my time. Listen, you have one chance fancy is what I like to call it. You have one chance to do this properly. If you do not do it properly, sorry about it. You have one chance to lay this down super, super straight. My biggest advice for doing anything like this is to get directly on top of your project. Directly over it, you will have the best view to see if you're going to place this straight this way and straight this way. You don't want to get this um, sideways. Now, I'm not saying you'll be able to tell if it's just a little bit off, but it's best to, of course, try and make it as straight as you possibly can. Now, because this is not such a harsh curve, we don't need to make any relief cuts with this. Now, what I mean by relief cuts is cutting into the extra um, transfer tape to give a relief for a rounded object. Now, I say rounded more than curved because whenever you're working with, let's say, a glass Christmas ornament, that is gonna be something that is like rounder on all sides, more like a dome than like a cylinder that would be something that relief cuts would be super helpful for. This being just like a cylinder is not as bad. It's actually pretty easy to lay stuff like this down. So we've cleaned it really well. We want to make sure that our work surface is completely clear of anything because this vinyl is, of course, adhesive. It's like a sticker. And you want this sticker to stick on your object for as long and as good as possible. So since you'll be washing these with your hands, hand washing them, maybe running them in the dishwasher, Top rack only, please. Some people have had success with that. Uh, you want this to stick down really well. A way to do that is to make sure that you um, clean your cup. Let me see here. Oh, are you going to read? I was going to read one if you would. You one chance it. fancy. I was listening to some Reba last night driving home from Houston. Yes, I think Kat is the one who said I must be a Reba fan. I sure am a Reba fan. James, what were you going to read? Uh, Tizzy says, hey, I'm new here. Recently got a cricket and have been enjoying your guys' videos. <gasps> 
Tizzy, we're so glad that you're here. Listen, I, I'm not going to beat it into the ground. We are running a sale if you're interested. $10 off the first month here with us, which makes your first month only $10. You can check out all of our cut files, download as many as you want. There's a free commercial license with all of those. You can get plugged into that Facebook group and see if you love us. If you don't, don't renew, cancel. It's super, super easy. No harm done. 10 bucks. It's going to be less than your lunch today, I'm sure. Um, thank you for being here, though. You're so stinking sweet. Okay, let me see here. Rachel, use the scraper tool as support. The groove works great. Like to set it on? Oh, my. Oh, wow. Gosh, who said that? Stacy? Stacy, yeah. Stacy. Stacy, look at that. Look at that. Stacy, you so smart. Listen. Violet also said holding objects with that is a game changer. Oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Russell, leave your wife alone. She said, he said, Stacy, stop yelling at Rachel. Russell, she's not yelling at me. She's helping me. She's changed my life right now, Russell. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to place this down. I'm going to get over it. You're going to see my hair for a minute. I'm sorry. Just look at my. Um... Uh, you don't see any hair. Really? No. Okay. This is, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nerve wracking. What'd you do? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I'm perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm so nervous. I'm going to be very careful here. I'm going to be very careful here. Pay attention, Rachel. If you can, lay the middle down first. That's probably best, and take your finger and slowly work towards the outside. Work from the middle out like that. I think, oh, I think I got that right on the money. Oh, yeah, that's, that's exciting. That's pretty middle. That's exciting. Okay. This, this right here, Stacy, was a game changer. This right here. I love that. That's amazing. Uh, I use the parchment method for this. Laura, listen, I'm so glad that you uh, like the parchment method. Good. If you can ever find a, a way to make crafting easier and more streamlined and look more professional at the end, then you've done, you've done it exceptional. Okay. Now, taking the vinyl off of this is, or the transfer tape off of this is super easy. You just take a corner, and we're going to pull back, not up. So we're not pulling up, we're pulling back. So we're just going to take this. Look at that. Whoa. You can also say you're pulling down. It's coming up on me. Oh, I'm, James is going to start correcting me now. Yeah. He said, yeah. Okay, let me lay that down. Where's my weeding tool? I didn't burnish the side good, so it was coming up on me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Perfect. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good. Look at that. Okay, I'm super happy with that. I don't know which is the easiest to see. Probably this is easier to see. Like that. <laughs> James said. <laughs> James just went over to Charlie and said, What's wrong? Oh, your shirt's up. Your belly's out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Super cute. Next, we have our oak and lamb went to do. Again, we've cleaned these. Oh, I'm so nervous. I always get nervous about placing things down. Now, listen, guys, I have been professionally crafting for over six years, and I still get nervous placing things down. So if you're a beginner and you get nervous, it's totally normal. Also, it doesn't go away. I wish it went away. But listen, it's always nerve-wracking. It's always nerve-wracking. Okay. Same thing, we've cleaned this, this is nice and dry. I'm gonna pick like the cleanest side and I can tell here, of course it's hard to tell on camera, but I can tell the cleanest side because I can see like the reflection of this glass. So I'm gonna place this down here, just like the first one, I'm gonna get over it. Becca, oh, Becca's here guys. Becca's here, let's see Becca. You want me to go let her in? Yeah, you can switch it to me too if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna switch to camera one. Beck is here, Beck is here, Beck is here. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Oh, Becca, look at her hair. Hi, Becca. She's 
She came for the baby. She didn't come for me. She didn't. Never mind. She came to get. She came to get a check. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna place this down. James, overhead, ready. I'm ready. I'm almost done. This is so nerve wracking. Always. Everyone's telling me hi, Becca. <laughs> Becca's here for the baby. Okay. Whew. They have seen the baby, yes. Now, they can never see the baby too much. They made an appearance at the beginning. Yes, he sure did. Look how he's filling out that oak and lamb shirt. Ain't that something? He's a honey baby. I think he did eat the baby. He eats so often. <laughs> okay, I'm burnishing this down. Guys, my sweaty hands have come into play because of this. I should pour coffee in this to show them how it looks. I've got enough. Yeah. I should do that. I'm going to do it on, I guess I'll do it on the actual coffee one. Okay, now I'm going to peel this off. Remember, down, not up. Is that what you said, James? Uh, yeah. Stick down. Stick but the down. acorn's giving you trouble. Stick down. The top of it, anyway. Stick down. <gasps> Becca said I made the most perfect baby. That's really sweet. That's sweet to say. I think his eyes are going to change to green because they're getting so much lighter than they were anyways. Okay. Okay, so pro tip, we do this all the time. If something doesn't stick well or doesn't stick well when you're peeling off the transfer tape, try from a different angle. Like, look, we had zero trouble taking that off the bottom. Becca's going to be mad because the curve distorts her acorn. But, I, you know, you know, if she was a really good graphic designer. I would account for that. She would account for that. <laughs> Maybe she, you should put it on there, Craigie. <laughs> I don't know about it. At least this one's straight as an arrow. It doesn't look how, look, I was telling them, look how it wobbles. This is 30 bucks for all four of these and it wobbles. No, it's this thing. It looks, it's yeah, like it's, bowed it's out on the bottom. It's not flush all the way down. It's like curved. Which is sad. You know who would spill that in his hand? Fallon. <laughs> I didn't even have to make a second guess there. Fallon. And then they give us these glass straws. Ugh, I can't, I can't, I'm just cringing thinking about trying to clean a glass straw. But I do. It's surprisingly easy. Nothing sticks to it. I do like the fact that you would be able to see anything gross because you know reusable straws you always fear that there's something gross down in them you could see them in this glass straw you would 100 percent see them see Literally. anything gross how Literally. cute done done now again next time we're going to do some multi-layered multi-colored ones uh, and show you some training on that i'm thinking kind of like a cover the whole thing type of deal like measure it out grab us a square in design space like the exact height and width of this sucker p map out some cute little um designs there and just cover the entire thing i think that would be adorable uh, these are what's hot right now um uh cat called us out back and said i don't know if i would drink beer from a straw and i'm like well you see seo thinks that these are beer glasses because how do beer they're beer can tumblers. Yeah, I don't know chat. why the SEO yeah. is beer glass. Yeah. Yeah. Because we agree. Listen, we agree. It's odd. It's odd. Someone in the chat called it out said they're, they're beer can glasses, or like you yeah. said. Cat, <laughs> she said, I chew on straws. That's dangerous. Cat, you can't, you can't <laughs> chew on these. Oh. oh, my Lord. I've seen too many videos on TikTok of girls live going. Uh, and busting their teeth out, yeah, busting their teeth out of those stainless steel straws. I'm like, oh, homie ain't playing that game. I'm like, mm -hmm. I ain't doing that. Um, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Again, we're gonna do some bigger, better ones next time when I don't, when I'm not sweating, worrying over an infant. But he was, he was a good boy. What are you talking about? I never give him the benefit of the doubt, and I always need to because really, he's just the best baby. Best baby ever. He's the best baby ever. He's so sweet. But I hope you all had a great time during the live. Thank you so much for being here early in the morning. Tomorrow's is going to be at 1030 as well, I think. I, I've scheduled off for 1030. How do you feel about that? Becca likes it. How was your camping trip, Becca? I love your hair, by the way. 
so nasty. It looks so <laughs> cute though. So Becca nasty. can go so many days without washing her hair. I literally would look like a hobo if I didn't wash my hair for like two days. I Becca. Washed it Saturday, but there's like campfire in it and like pool water. It's the best. It's, it's all the right. Best. It's great. It's the best dry shampoo. It's natural, all natural dry shampoo. But I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. We're going to be here tomorrow. Becca, what is Becca doing? Leather. Becca's going to be putting HTV on leather. And then Thursday, we're going to have a haul. This table is going to be full of stuff from the Dollar Tree. And, we're, well, well, it's a Dollar 25 tree. But, you know, technically it's still called the Dollar Tree. And we're going to talk about craft supplies, craft blanks, uh, tools that you can use that cost a buck 25. That's going to be really fun. Um, James, thank you so much for um, producing today. Charlie, thank you for being a great co-host. Becca's well, here now. I was glad now. to be here. Thank um, you everyone for all the kind words as well. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget about that sale fun F-U-N at checkout. You can get $10 off your first month with us. That sale is ending very, very soon whenever Becca tells me. <laughs> and then that'll be it. You guys cannot get that code for a while. So definitely grab that while you can. There's a lot to love here at Oak and Lamb. Not only do we teach on cricket, we do a lot of laser cutting. We do a lot of woodworking, sublimation, home decor, sewing, and more. Check us out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow when Becca makes her amazing craft. Bye.